take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow your eyelids to relax. And with your eyes closed, I want you to take your focus and bring it inwards. As you breathe in, become aware of the feeling of the air going in through your nostrils or your mouth. Feel perhaps your shoulders or your chest rising. And as you exhale, start to notice where in your body you're releasing tension. Feeling that tension leave your body, enabling you to slow down your breathing. And to let go. As you breathe in and breathe out, imagine that wonderful resources are going into your body. Confidence, worthiness, feelings of significance, gratitude. Feel these wonderful things going into your body. And allow them to displace emotions that have been holding you back. Any anxiety, stress, neediness, insecurities. Just allow these things to leave your body in your outward breath. So notice just by breathing in and breathing out, you can find a deep connection with yourself. That's it. As your body relaxes, your imagination is more active. And what is your imagination if it isn't the interface between your conscious and subconscious mind? What use is a powerful computer without an interface to use it, like a screen and a keyboard and a mouse? Your subconscious is infinitely powerful. And your imagination is how you interact with it. So I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine a beautiful forest on a summer's day. Maybe you can imagine seeing it from above, see the trees, see a river winding its way through a forest. Hear the birds, smell the freshness, maybe of pine needles, the clean air, and imagine you're now walking on a path through the forest. And I want you to imagine walking down a path, and the path splits into two, and it occurs to you that When a path splits into two, a choice is required. And it gets you thinking about choices that you've made in the past. That if you were to go back in time, knowing what you now know, maybe you would have done certain things differently. Because when you know better, You have the opportunity to do better. Forewarned is forearmed. And I wonder what would happen if we went back in time. And you were giving advice and information. To those younger versions of you that didn't know any better. I want you to imagine. There is a bubble slightly bigger than you I want you to imagine climbing into that bubble floating up above the forest and that river that winds through the forest represents the timeline of your past allow you floating in this bubble to go and follow the river backwards in time seeing you get younger and younger as you hover over that river. And I want you to imagine 
going all the way back in time, knowing that you're invisible in this floating bubble, all the way back to just before your very first relationship. Maybe you remember the clothes you were wearing, what your face looked like at that time where you were living. And when you can see that version of you from all that time ago, just let me know by nodding your head. I want you to wait till there's a time where that younger version of you, perhaps a teenager, was all on your own. And when you feel like it's safe to do so and relevant and appropriate, I want you to imagine leaving the bubble and saying hello to your younger self. They might be suspicious. So I want you to tell them things that you remember they did all the way back then that only you would know. You're convincing them that you are them from the future. And maybe they have a surprised expression when you know their deepest secrets and nobody else does. And when you feel there is that trust and rapport between you from the future and that younger version of you, just let me know by nodding your head. I want you to tell them about a future relationship. Maybe that's just days away from happening. I don't want you to tell them anything about the person or even what happens. But I want you to give them some advice that would help them to deal with that relationship Tapping into all of your knowledge as to what happens. Whatever happens in this relationship is what's meant to happen. But I want you to give advice as to what they could do differently. Tell them that they are worthy, whether they are single or in a relationship. Tell them that They don't need to win the approval or the affection or the love from someone else. And I want you to notice that you can coach them, mentor them, give them the benefit of your experiences when it's time to walk away. What boundaries need to be set even before a relationship starts? How to choose someone that it makes sense to even decide to be in a relationship with? Within your imagination, time has no meaning. You've had dreams that seemed like they were going for hours that were just seconds in your mind. So imagine perhaps talking to this younger version of you for hours if needed about all the things that might help them to be confident and secure. To do things that would protect themselves. To help them not just deal with this relationship but any relationship. knowing that they're going to make mistakes because this is their first relationship, but maybe they can learn from your wisdom and experience. And when they're ready to accept your advice, let me know by nodding your head. But I want you to give them more than just advice. I want you to give them a specific resource. And maybe back then as a teenager, they were insecure, in which case you can give them the gift of confidence. Maybe they were needy, in which case you can give them the gift of inner strength and inner belief, 
whatever resource you feel they need most right now, imagine giving it to them as a glowing ball of energy, a bright color, glowing like a small star. And when they're ready to accept it, they open their hands and pull it to their chest and you can see them absorbing that resource wherever they need it. Maybe in their heart, their chest, their solar plexus. See them absorbing that resource. And then climb into your bubble, say goodbye. And imagine just watching what happens in this relationship. You're not expecting a perfect relationship, but just notice that they are more well-equipped to deal with what happened than you were because you didn't have that knowledge and you didn't have that resource. And if you observe something that seems like an improvement on the original relationship, that they seem more confident, self-assured, willing to respect themselves, put themselves first, or it's just improved in some way, just let me know by nodding your head. I want you to imagine now floating in your bubble not necessarily to the next relationship but to perhaps what you consider a significant relationship that knowing what you now know you would have handled very differently not your most recent relationship but a significant relationship and when you can think of a relationship like that let me know by nodding your head I want you to imagine floating forwards in time now to that version of you, perhaps just days or weeks before that relationship starts. Remember where you were living, what you were doing, your age. And just as before, I want you to visit that version of you. And when the time is right and perhaps you're seeing yourself in a private environment, just walk out of your bubble, become visible to them and say hello to a younger version of you. Maybe give yourself a hug. Feel that respect, that love, that connection you have with yourself, from yourself. Ask how they've been getting on. What they're struggling with, what they need help with. Time doesn't matter in your mind. You can imagine talking for hours. Just be there to listen. It doesn't have to be about relationships. can be about anything. But when the time is right, I want you to imagine giving additional advice. Tell them that very soon they will be in a new relationship. You don't have to reveal anything specific about the person, but... You might know certain themes about this person or things they should be careful about or watch out for. Maybe encourage them to set new boundaries they hadn't even considered before. Give them the benefit of your experience, but without revealing what happens. No spoilers. The goal is to help you prepare yourself Give them some insights and tell them the benefit of your experience, that it doesn't make sense to chase, that there are certain things that are clues, that things don't get better, they get worse. Let them know when it's time to consider walking away. Let them know it's tough. When emotions are strong, you feel like Where there's a will, there's a way that you can turn things around, you can make things better, but sometimes you have to know when to walk away. And when that younger version of you has accepted, acknowledged, or even just listened to your information, advice, and mentorship, just let me know by nodding your head. And 
just as you did before. I want you to imagine giving them a resource, but a different resource. And maybe it's just the ability to know their worth. To let them know that they're the one that should be chased, not to do the chasing. Maybe it's self-worth. Maybe it's the ability of self-awareness. Maybe it's the ability to zoom out, to look at their life like they're someone else. Whatever resource they need right now more than anything else, imagine handing it to them again as a ball of energy. What looks like a colourful star glowing with energy but the size of a tennis ball. See the colour, feel the warmth, the intensity, the brightness and give give them that resource. And Once they take it, pull it to their chest, absorb that resource, let me know by nodding your head. Say goodbye, give them a hug. Tell them that they are amazing, destined for great things, that they are worthy, worthy of love, connection, and that they can give themselves love. It doesn't need to come from someone else. And then climb in your bubble and just watch what happens. Like you're watching some strange reality TV show like The Truman Show and I want you to imagine you're seeing how this relationship turns out with the benefit of this wisdom and insight. A more knowledgeable, resourceful version of you. And maybe this relationship does work out or maybe it doesn't. But I want you to see an empowered, confident version of you No desperation, no neediness. Not willing to tolerate things that shouldn't be tolerated. And if you see that younger version of you improving compared to what actually happened, just let me know by nodding your head. And then I want you to imagine going forward in time to your most recent relationship. When the time is right, climb out of your bubble and say hello to someone that maybe isn't that much younger than who you are now. Say, hey, it's me from the future. With some advice, some information. Only this time, tell them exactly what does happen. All the details. Forewarned is forearmed. This person is a lot like you. But you still know a little bit more than they do because you've lived through it. Tell them what happens. And ask them what they think they should do differently. And if they're coming up with good ideas, ask them to elaborate on those good ideas. Maybe share some insights. You're leading them through questions. You're not telling them what to do. You're helping them to discover it for themselves. You don't need to give them a resource. They're already resourceful enough. You're just letting them know What happens if nothing changes? But now they can make changes. As you buy into an idea that what you're not changing, you're choosing, means that if this younger version of you doesn't make any changes, they're choosing to repeat history. to climb 
time in your bubble and just observe and maybe they do make different choices. Hold themselves to a higher standard. Communicate their needs, their desires, what they're willing to tolerate or not tolerate in a way that avoids some issues. I want you to see a version of you that sees you as the prize. Someone worthy of someone that likes them as much as you like someone else. See yourself with the highest of standards, high levels of self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence, brimming with personal pride. Someone like this doesn't chase. Someone like this isn't desperate. Someone like this doesn't need to fix anyone. And if you can see that version of you doing things different in a good way, let me know by nodding your head. This version of you has the power to make different choices. But just like the movie Groundhog Day, I want you to imagine there are infinite versions of this version of you. Imagine a million different parallel universes all trying different things until you find the optimal version of you. And then in your bubble, I want you to imagine visiting that parallel universe where there's a version of you that does things in a way that works the best. And when you're seeing that version of you, just let me know by nodding your head. to observe what happens in this reality, the reality that's tested so many different variations and variables that you can see a version of you doing it the way that you would like to, that it almost doesn't matter what the other person does because you see you handling things the way you would want to handle things, creating new neural pathways, new ways of thinking. Ways to protect yourself, but to create the possibility of fantastic relationships and amazing connections. Seeing yourself where the balance is right. You can be understanding, forgiving, tolerant, but equally not a pushover. Not desperate, not needy. And when you feel like you've unlocked the balance that gives you the ability to protect yourself, but still allow yourself the possibility of powerful, positive, incredible relationships. Let me know by nodding your head. And then I want you to step into that version of you. Feel that this is your way of thinking now. This is how perhaps you'll handle things in the future. That when you know better, you do better. And then think back to all those other relationships that there's no way that this version of you would have allowed those things to happen. In life, you get what you tolerate, not what you deserve. By having higher standards, clear boundaries, At a high level of personal self-worth and self-love, you realize that you are different from your past and therefore you can now expect 
a different future. And when all parts of you accept that this is laying the foundation for a new relationship with yourself and a new relationship with others that's helpful, positive and useful in some way, let me know by nodding your head. Now take all those wonderful feelings, new ideas, new thoughts and new beliefs about who you are and what you do and bring them all the way back to the present. Not in the past, not in the future, not in a forest, but right now in the present listening to my voice. As you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose, just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, get a sense that all parts of you here in the present listening to my voice, and very soon I will count from one to ten to awaken you. You will awaken feeling resourceful, motivated, full of self-belief, self-worthiness, at huge levels of self-respect starting to count to awaken you one two three waking up four five six more alert seven eight open your eyes open your eyes nine ten wide awake wide awake wide awake